Hi, Dr. Pelto here. I want to go over a condition called flexor hallucis tenosynovitis. Now, this is a condition that's very similar to plantar fasciitis or heel pain, and that's what we're going to go and learn about today. Let's look a little bit about uh, something called flexor hallucis tenosynovitis. Um, first, you have to determine how long you've had your symptoms, kind of what the treatment you've tried, um, how does this impact your life, and I'm going to go over what you have, why you have it, and kind of maybe what are some of the treatment options. So specifically, what is this condition? Uh, the flexor hallucis is basically this tendon that comes off the fibula, which is the back of your leg, goes behind the ankle, and it courses right down here underneath your big toe people typically have pain right in the arch region or even close to the heel region. And very commonly, it's mistaken for plantar fasciitis or arch pain. And what you can see is a side view, the flexor hallucis longus is this one that kind of comes down right here. And once again, it's right here, this flexor tendon. This tendon can get bound down. So it can be tendonitis or tenosynovitis, which is kind of an inflammation around the tendon. And many times, we're not sure which one, but we kind of use these treatments to help it. So what a diagnostic exam? Well, you can do an ultrasound. That's really the best way to see if that's the exact tendon. You can also palpate and just right along the tendon, it tends to hurt. Um, an MRI sometimes can be necessary, or an x-ray can give us some insights as well. What are the treatment options? Well, you can ignore it and hope it goes away. You can do conservative non-surgical treatment, uh, and that's usually what we do, or in surgery, very, very rarely do surgery for this. So how long does it take to get better? Well, if you haven't had it that long, if it's been under three months, it might take you a month. If it's been over three months, I usually say it takes about three months. So what's the process? We wanna reduce the pain and control the load we want to repair the injured tissue and restore the proper function. The function is the most important thing. So we're going to look at this whole checklist. If you've watched my videos before, I love to use checklists. And this is something you can even bring to your doctor uh, to evaluate this condition if you think you have it. So what are some of the home treatments, things that you can do on your own if you think you have it? The pain isn't so much here. This is more for plantar fasciitis. It's usually up a little bit further into the, to the arch area right underneath that big toe. So you can take an anti-inflammatory, Motrin, ibuprofen, as I've mentioned before. Don't do it more than two weeks, and you should check with your doctor before doing that. You can ice the area, either with like a bottle of water or a, a Dixie cup here and just kind of ice it, or you can even stretch it and put it in ice water. I like to use contrast baths, so five minutes in ice water, five minutes in hot water, and then five minutes back in ice water. Uh, specifically, we want to reduce the tightness in this area. So specifically, you want to loosen the back of the calf and probably on the bottom of the foot. How are you gonna do that? Well, I like to use different types of tools. So the tools that can be used on the back would be like a foam roller or one of these sticks or a ball or even this type of a ball. All these things are for the back of the calf. Basically, you want to find that area where it hurts and re reduce the, the tension uh, on that area. I'm gonna put a video underneath here on how to do foam rolling. And basically there's a technique where you go, you know, three circles to the right, three circles to the left and up and down, and it should hurt in the back area. Also on the bottom of the foot, you could take a golf ball and kind of roll out the bottom of the foot or get some deep tissue massage to that area. Um, if you have pain when you get up in the morning, you can do some stretching with the towel. You know, you could try to use a night splint or Strasburg sock. I don't find these as beneficial for this condition. Uh, supporting it can be helpful, especially if you're going barefoot or wearing sandals. Here's a nice insert. Here's a good shoe. You could try taping it. All these things, you know, I find most of the time what works really well is that deep tissue massage. Um, Doctor-specific treatments. These are, these are things that I might do or I might send you to have done. Um, I do shockwave for this. So this area of the flexor hallucis, I can treat this area to help repair and heal it. Uh, that's very successful. Uh, there's also, there's both radial and focused shockwave. This is some of the benefits of shockwave. We can do this on this area. Once again, though, I would first start with the deep tissue work and maybe even some physical therapy prior, okay? Um, orthotics, if you're really flattening things out, that can contribute to this. And so doing something that's going to give you uh, some more uh, support and help correct your heel alignment, you want to reduce the high pressure areas, reduce the internal stresses specifically on that tendon, and then excessive or abnormal joint movement you want to reduce. Um, I occasionally do a cortisone injection. I don't tend to do it right here. I actually tend to do it in the back of the ankle uh, in the tendon sheath of the flexor hallucis longus. There are some kind of advanced treatments you can do as well, PRP, amnio. I don't usually have to get to those, but those are possibilities as well. 
I really think if you're not getting better with the deep tissue massage on your own, you need to do physical therapy. There's a Graston technique I like. There's deep tissue massage. Getting a massage from someone, really, really helpful. Uh, and then there are also some types of braces that can be done if needed. I don't find that these are all that beneficial for this. Then there, there is these advanced treatments we talked about. We, everything we want to try to do is to avoid surgery. So once again, let's look into it. You're probably first, if you see a doctor, they're going to get an x-ray, but I actually think an ultrasound is more uh, beneficial. I don't do an MRI that much. Uh, then to start, I actually wouldn't start right here. I would actually start with the, with the stretching, with the deep tissue massage, and then with the physical therapy, wearing supportive shoes. If that doesn't work, let's say over three or four weeks, because a lot of times it works real quick, then you would go into this area, which would be the anti-inflammatory, maybe a, a cortisone in the sheath of the flexor hallucis, uh, and then to shockwave therapy. That's kind of how I would treat this if I were you. So uh, this is something that can be treated. You may not have heard of it. It's very similar to, to plantar fasciitis, and I hope you guys found this helpful. Hi, I'm Dr. Don Pelto. I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube page. And on this page, you're going to find a lot of resources that I've set aside for you if you are my patient or if you're here just learning about your foot condition. I'd like to give you a little tour and share a little bit about what we have to offer on this website. First, I've had it organized by my patient resources. These are resources such as our office newsletter, our webinars that we do, uh, or different types of things I'm providing specifically to patients in the office. Uh, as you scroll down, what you'll see is a section that's called Ask Dr. Pelto. You can submit your own question and I'll answer it in one of these episodes. And then what you'll find are a list of videos based on topic under the foot problems. And at the end, what you're gonna find are, are my books, put a little link here on the upper right hand corner. If you click that link, you're going to get a link to my website. And on here, you're gonna find a list of my books. I wanna thank you for visiting drfelto.com on my YouTube page, and I look forward to helping you or educating you with this information.